In Salado, a citywide conversation about safety and security after an uptick of car burglaries in recent weeks. Fox 44's Kendall Green was in Salado for us. Kendall, why the sudden conversation? Well, Adam, a Salado man woke up in the early morning hours to find a masked man armed with an AR-15 rifle just outside of his door. His intentions, unclear. But the armed suspect is still on the loose tonight, and in his tracks, he leaves behind a serious conversation in Salado. The Salado Public Library, packed with dozens of citizens, concerned that their tight-knit, quiet community lately has been buzzing with multiple reports of burglary. Chris Zuber saw the latest attempt in his own backyard and says it's something that still has him shaken up. It's pretty crazy, you know, someone being at your door, stuff you hear about on the news, but, you know, then you hear that uh, had an AR-15, That's kind of brings it home a little bit, you know. And neighbors in the Mill Creek subdivision, like Zuber, are on high alert, saying the news of the criminal activity is out of ordinary for them. Well, this is just a shame. You know, we think of, of Saleo as being a small village of a few thousand, and all of a sudden we've got big city problems, you know, with, with crime, and it breaks our heart. Police Chief Pat Boone answered questions tonight, hoping to ease the concerns of Saleo citizens, also revealing a noteworthy common thread among all the crimes, a lack of vigilance and use of basic form of security locks. We're quite, you know, nice little more of a retirement community and people will get a little complacent and a little sense of comfort and leaving vehicles unsecure just makes it that much easier for the, the individuals to take something from them. He says majority of the recent car burglaries could have been avoided completely. He adds that residents have made it too easy for burglars. One Salado man shared with Fox 44 a hard and expensive lesson that he learned just last year when he left his car unlocked with the keys left in plain sight. I came out the next morning and it was gone. It took me a little while to realize that it was gone because I thought, well, maybe it's in the garage. But anyway, it had been stolen and uh, they found it about a, uh, about a week later up in Belton. Never did find out who took it, but. Any, any damage done to the car? Oh, it was totaled. Though he doesn't condone criminal activity, he says folks shouldn't make it easy. And now he takes extra precaution, leaving what he's worked hard for inaccessible, secured, protected. It, uh, it taught me not to not to leave my car outside with the keys in it, that's for sure, not locked up. I've just been, uh, you know, all these many years too confident that, or trustworthy that, you know, people wouldn't do that. But now I see I was wrong. <laughs> The AR-15 rifle was found and now in police custody, and police discovered it was stolen in a Killeen burglary weeks ago. Authorities believe they're closing in on the suspects behind it, and if you have any information, contact Salado Police. Adam?